Welcome to our new learning. This time we have a uh, three piece voltage setup calculation. This 230 volts, three volt, saka uh, 60 hertz. So when we see voltage drop, it, ito yung to determine the difference in electrical potential between two points in a circuit caused by the resistance of conductors and current flowing through them which can lead to power losses and reduce performance. So we need uh, to calculate the voltage drop to determine the losses. So shown in the uh, figure, the yung ating utility and then yung ating load. So we have assumed na 10 kilowatts and then yung length from the transformer uh, uh, step down step down transformer length is 15 meters and then yung conductor na ginamit is 3 uh, 5.5 square mm we have a PEC provisions uh, article 2.10.2.2 okay. so yung conductors daw for brand circuit uh, size to prevent a voltage drop exceeding at uh, 3% at the farthest outlet, heating, lighting loads, or combinations. Where the maximum total voltage drop, both feeders and brand circuit to the farthest outlet does not exceed at 5%. So, means to see, coming from source to the distribution panel, dapat merong kang voltage drop na 2 or 3%. And then from distribution panel to the farthest outlet, maximum is 3%, total is 5 Okay, so pwede ka in your design, from source to distribution, kahit gawa ka ng 2%, and then from the brand circuit, you have 3%. So 3 plus 2 is plus 5. Or reverse, from here, 3%, and this is uh, 2%. Okay, so after we have a uh, simple knowledge about support this drop together with the PEC, let's do with the formula. This is coming from PEC 2017, Appendix D, 1057. So the drop BD is equal to KDI times square root of R squared plus X squared, where I is line current in amperes, D, distance of the device from the source express in meters key is constant 2 per single phase 1.73 to power 3 phase r is the line react uh, resistance sorry ohms x is the line reactance at 60 hertz express in ohms after that uh, we can have uh, you uh, you let's use this formula again uh, to solve for the three piece multi strap calculation and then from this, so ito yung ating format na gamitin. And then first, we have the given, yung operating voltage, which is 230. Uh, total wattage, 10,000 watts or 10 kilowatts. Power factor, uh, 0.88. Uh, load amperes, 28.53. This one. Length express in meters which is 15 meters the conductor is 35.5 square mm so yung location niya is from utility to to the panel board or meter panel okay so uh, if magtanong ka sir bakit mayroong power factor uh, for this example like assumption na tayo na 10 kilowatts yung ating load so mayroong power factor uh, we assume that yung load includes uh, combination of motors saka compressors. Okay, so after that, you can get, uh, you can start uh, calculate calculation from this formula. So our solution, we have voltage drop BD, square to KDI, times square root 
of 3, uh, no, square root of r square plus x square. So, your key is 1.732 because our example is 3 in 3 phase. So, 1.732. Yung D is length is 15 meters. Yung I, 28.53. That's load amperes. And then, square root of 1.2 which is the resistance uh, refer from PEC 2017 table 10.1.1.9 so yung ating 5.5 square mm yung wire resistance in uh, per 3 of 5 meters is if you use steel that is 1.2 if you use PVC the same 1.2 also yung line reactance 0.063 because we use steel okay so dito yung kinuha baka magtaka kayo sa galing okay that's coming from the PEC po then after you, you solve this by using your calculator you can arrive with the answer of 2.92 volts so if you get the percentage of that simply divide that by 230 times 100 so your voltage drop BD is 1.269%. So did you notice less than uh, 2%? So means to say that uh, pasok yung ating conductor na ginagamit. Based sa 2% allowable voltage drop sa PEC provisions. And then if you want to get the receiving voltage at the end, so, ito yung sa meter panel. So, just uh, subtract 230 volts by 2.92. So, we have 227.08 volts. And then, to get for the receiving power, so, we have formula uh, power in easy circuits in single phase. That, that is voltage times current times cosine theta. So the voltage is 2 to 7.08 multiply mo siya ng current which is 28.53 amperes times the uh, power factor uh, 0.88. So you can get the answer of 9873.05 uh, watts. And then to get for the efficiency, just simply uh, power output itong 9873.05 divide mo siya ng 10,000 and then you can get the power if, uh, efficiency of 98.73% so if you if you notice so, sir bakit hindi na 10 kilowatts yung receiving power e yung ating in input is 10,000 watts Okay, so that's because uh, yung sa voltage strap, na meron tayong 2.92 volts. So, may to si pala, if meron tayong voltage strap, meron din tayong losses. At dun yung losses na yon is yun na yung power. So, nagbawas tayo ng power. Okay, so sir, anong, ano yung rason ng voltage strap? Ano yung parang causes? So, First is the yung length. So, kung mataas yung length mo, mataas yung voltage drop. Consider that factor. Second is yung conductor na ginamit. If, uh, for this time, yung design natin is copper. So, what if, if mag-use aluminum? And third is the insulation. Uh, installation. Paano mo siya ginawa? Okay, so nakaka-picture rin yan. So, means to say, before you design electrical system so be sure to consider the voltage drop calculation importante ito uh, dito mo malaman if nag overload ba or hindi undersize ba or oversize yung conductor na ginamit natin ok so yun yung kahalagahan ng voltage drop calculation ok so actually simple lang to na ano, example but if you understand this one, you can apply it to your other kahit yung mga complicated na problem, kaya mo itong i-apply. 
Okay, so I hope you learn a lot with this short uh, discussion. So please subscribe. I have uh, more videos na i-upload. Thank you.